Hey YouTube, Mick from Sydney, Australia. Um, just added a bit more stuff to my uh, 511 Moab 10 sling bag. Uh, so I'll just quickly go through that. Uh, so I just added my two uh, CB radios in there. I've got the batteries turned around the other way so it doesn't drain the battery. I think that works. Just added some uh, cheapy string. Yeah, I can use that to string up um, a tarp if need be. Um, what else did I put in here? Well, I just added a beanie since uh, it's getting close to winter now and the last trip I did it over on the water was actually frozen. The top layer anyway. Uh, I've just uh, I'm not sure if this was in here before, but uh, in the top pouch here, I've added my snake bite um, wrap there, compression bandage. Um, in here, I've just added some hygiene, so toothpaste, toothbrush, um, bar of soap, essential elements. Natural citrus uh, and just a chapstick. So, just a bit of hygiene. My mate and I have decided that instead of going for day trips, which we seem to waste a lot of time walking around during the day because animals are obviously hiding and sleeping, we're going to um, leave at about 2 o'clock on, say, a Saturday, get there at about 4 30, hunt at sunset then set up camp, camp out, uh, wake up at the break of dawn, hunt at dawn and then leave at about 11 o'clock. Um, that way we're hunting when the animals are most active so that's what we've decided. So this is now going to turn into a day hunt bag slash overnighter. Um, got plenty of stuff in here so and I'm trying not to, I'm not going to pack it out anymore. What it is is what it is now. Um, then in addition, in the strap here, the pocket here, I've put a, a more severe cut bandage wrap, I guess you can call it, so for deeper wounds. And uh, just in this little thing, I stole this from my daughter, don't tell her. Um, just got a notepad, some pencils some pain relief, cold and flu relief, uh, notepad, some other band-aids and whatnot. So yeah, more of a little drug pouch slash notepad slash you know pencils and stuff like that. So searched her room and she hoards a lot of stuff and she's got some good stuff in her room actually so we'll see you next time what I find in her room. That's it, so I've left this pouch dedicated to my iPad. When I uh, go out in the field, I'll slip my iPad in there. And um, as I've showed you before, the bag will turn around, just grab my iPad, get my bearings, and, and away we go. So, I don't know, that's about it, I think. Um, yeah, what else am I putting in? Uh, I've added the, uh, the little fuel tabs for the hobo stove. Um, that's about it for us, I think. Uh, I've added a couple of more tubes of eye drops or eye wash. I've added a uh, 12 hour glow stick in here. So now I'm catering for just a bit of an overnighter. And this will be the only bag I'll bring. Uh, it'll be this. A bit of water bottle which should be mollied. I did add my, um, my little uh, spoon, fork, knife, little yeah, device for my eating. So I've strapped that directly to my water bottle pouch, and uh, yeah, I've got my hobo stove in there, my cup. So that's that. Um, 
Yeah, that's my wax candle. I actually used it before, and I've actually, if you can see that, I've used a lot of wax in there, so I need to get another candle and, and pour some wax in there. What happened is it was on the rock and it was tilted a bit, so the wax was pouring out. If it was level, it wouldn't have pulled out, so it would not have pulled out. So that's it. That's my my little kit. Um, since we're going to overnight it, I will strap my my tent to the back here, and um, and I will put my uh, little sleeping bag here. Comfort 15 degrees limit, 11 degrees Celsius. So, and this compresses, you know, to about that small. So that can either fit in there or can, um, you know, can obviously maybe even sit in the bottom there. Um, anyway, we'd probably be camping in my car anyway. We'll probably park the car a kilometre away from the river where we tend to do uh, our where we uh, want to hunt. So yeah, we'd probably do that. I'll, I'll leave this in the car anyway. And probably the tent, but if I had to, if we had to hike it, we'd have to stay closer. Yeah, I'd strap everything under there, which is the benefit of this bag, and that would either be strapped on the top there, or on the side. And I think I'm pretty right to go, fellas. So, again, the Moab 10 by 511. Great pack. I don't think I've added anything else. Um, pretty much the same gear. So, uh, yeah, that's it, man. See ya.